and welcome to the first day of the Celebration yes. News. Boy, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be hot. Yep, it's going to be hot. 100 degrees after a while. <laughs> I'm going to find an air conditioner. I'll be right there beside you. <laughs> Go ahead and do your thing and we'll get started. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Jacobs family asks for your support as Ali Doe Jacobs competes in the 85th National Celebration starting with Grayton Beach in Class 46, the Youth 11 and Under Mayor Division, followed by Coach Cal competing in Class 51, You Show Pleasure, and then directing Cole Hahn in the 11 and Under Building Division. Allie Jo and her family humbly ask for your continued support as she presents her horse for championship honors. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All right. I do want to remind everybody that uh, in October the 9th through the 14th, the, at the Cooper Still Arena, there will be the Wreck and Horse Breeders Association. Now, Wester, good friend of mine, Roy Wester, wanted y'all to know this. And here's a little video of Roy's horse. I'm sure he's going to be entered. But they're going to have it in Cooper Still Arena this year, October 9th through the 14th. For information, you can call 256-353-7225. Start time is 6 p.m. each night. And Thursday during the day, it's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So judges Jackie Byram, Ricky Parker, Johnson, and Steve Gladwell. And alternate is Tommy Thompson. They're going to have a bunch of judges. Yep. That's pretty good. 
I tell you what, that's a nice horse right that's there. That's a real nice horse. That's a three-year-old. Real nice. Oh, Roy sets a good seat, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does a For good job. that stuff. Hey, he 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 he's behind these horses. Oh, yeah. They're walking and racking. He doesn't care. He likes them both. I also want to remind you that we are going to be selling the last, I hope, of Richard's jewelry this year. Uh, we got several items left. Got rings, earrings, ladies' rings, men's rings. Had a lady sent me an email this morning and said, put hers in a box. She's coming after it. <laughs> so I got to do that. She's sending a friend to get it. But it's a, uh, we got quite a few items left. And I'm just hoping that we can uh, get them and just put, Carol, put the money in oh, the bank. Yeah. That's a good thing about that's it. That's a nice jury, real nice. Hey, there's quite a bit of it that's left. Also, I want to remind everybody oh, when you're eating at the celebration this year, VFW. This is the number one spot, buddy. They've it got is. it all. They've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They started December 27th. They were chartered December 27th, 1945. I seen an old video, an old picture of them when they had it back in them days over there. Hey, I can remember growing up, I talked to Dawn. She used to work there when she was in high school. Uh -huh. But that, I can remember at 10 years old going to the, to the celebration. And that's oh. what we... That was about Good. that time when they first started, wasn't it? Yeah. Was 10? Yeah. No, I ain't yeah. that old. <laughs> I ain't that old, buddy. I'm older than dirt. I had breakfast with somebody older than me yesterday morning, Sonny McCarter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. he got me. Mm -hmm. I told him I wanted him to come on in so he'd be the oldest one in there. <laughs> we want to talk about something, too. The, the uh, USDA has released their rulemaking and talking about relieving the industry of the having to inspect horses and everything, but they're also saying they want to establish a qualifying criteria for people applying to be inspectors as well as process for denying applications. Well, we've seen how the USDA inspects, and they're during all of this, they make major mistakes. And I, I'm not trying to demean them or anything, but there, there's a lot that they could do that would make things a lot better. And one thing is accepting the fact that our horse is the horse of this century, not three, four centuries ago. Yes. It's what it is today, not yesterday. And I, th I can't help but feel we're still being judged on yesterday. They come in and now they're doing swabbing and I've been told they're gonna to be a tent put up for them to swab in, but that's well and fine, but it's still not a confined area. Uh, there's no way it can be. But these are things that everybody needs to look at and what they're asking. And here's the big one. Th this is one that really gets me. They want to take our pads and our action device in all this way because they say our pads are harmful to the horse. There's no proof of that except them wanting it to be. Yes. They say our action device harms the horse. There's no proof of that other than they're wanting it to be. We're restricted to a 10 ounce action device or a six ounce action device. Yeah. I'm sorry. If we had the 10 ounce action device, we would be bad boys but six ounce action device. The thoroughbreds or the saddlebreds say that their pads act as a cushion to help the horse and because it's kind of like a tennis shoe. But ours harms the horse. We got rid of the bell boots because they rubbed the horse's foot. Saddlebreds are allowed to use protective devices, as they call them. So I went because I, I, everything has a weight to it. Yes. Six ounces on a horse is a whole lot less than this right here on me, and I wear this every day, 24-7. Shower with it, sleep with it, makes no difference. I got it on. 
So I went and I've got some protective boots and I weighed them. And scales don't lie. There's a 6.4 ounce protective boot that the saddlebreds can wear. There's a 15.3 protective boot that the saddlebreds can wear. Look at the inside, it's doubled yeah. in there. I weighed several of them. Some of them didn't weigh that much, some of them weigh less. They got some that are real light, but some of them are heavy. Right there's 15.9. Yeah. So when they say that they harm our horse, that that weight is bad, Yeah. why isn't it bad on these other horses? If we put that on a walking horse, you know it's going to rub the hair. Yeah. Going to. Well, there's no proof of that, that it will do that to a saddlebred, but they're not inspected, they, are they? Yeah, that's right. So, but those scales don't lie. No. We weigh chains with them. We weigh everything. So I'm just telling you, it, it just, I, I don't know. I, I, I get so frustrated that the government is on such a journey trying to find a, a horse that is abused before it goes into the show ring rather than complimenting the trainers on the quality and condition of our horses. Yeah. Uh, I never, growing up, when I went to a barn, I didn't have to park nowhere to see a horse that had a scar. Uh, I don't think I'd have to today if they actually had a scar. But it's just like everything else. You, it's proofs in the pudding. And we have proven that our horse is in good shape. Uh, most of the time when the government shows up, them and the DQPs pretty much go hand in hand. It's only every now and then when certain VMOs show up. And that is my greatest fear, yeah. Jerry, is that when they start selecting inspectors to come and inspect every show, they'll start selecting people like the ones that where we always have a problem, problem with, yeah. but we don't other. Another thing is equine knowledge, because I know some of them have come that had zero equine knowledge. Oh, yeah, you're right. They just said, hey, go out there and inspect the horse. We got a little video here of a horse that, this right here is a armed, it's an arms deal for real horse. That's Justin, well, that's Jackson on the horse, but Justin Todd, he, he and his son train these horses to do obstacles, wade water, do all of it. Now, if you noticed right there, he's doing that with a halter. That's about 10 minutes after we yeah. dropped him off, Jerry. Now he's out there doing a little bit better. But they teach them everything you need to know as far as trail riding, things like this, which th to me that's important, especially when it comes to creeks, because horses, they don't trust everything. They, they, some of them need to be cautious. That's the first time that he ever went into mud. They do a wonderful job with them horses now. Now they I do. Mean, they, they do. Well, he, he, he works with the horse, talks to the horse. Let the horse do his thing. Well, you know, I got a filly over there that I got put the shoes on and been riding that they broke. And I mean, she just is easy and laid back and everything. And she and she's going to be up a good performance filly. Well, they, they treat their horses very well. They yeah. work with them and gentle them and fool around with them. Of course, Justin's wife, she likes to love on them and her daughter likes to love on them. And, and Jackson does a great job out when he's out just working them. Oh, he do a good job. Matter of fact, I sent him two horses the other day over there to get started. Well, they'll do, they'll do a good job because those guys, they really work hard at it. Do good. Yeah, they do a real good job. And I believe we got a little video of a filly that, you, well, the filly you were talking about because he, he's going to sell this filly, I think, isn't he? No, that's 9-11. That's, uh -huh. that's, that's the stud coat there. He, he, I thought the filly was first, but that's an honor stud coat that will be one year old September the 11th. 
That's why his name is 9-11. He's out of an armed and dangerous mayor, or an arms deal for the real mayor. But now, he's got everything it's going to take. Oh, yeah, he's a nice coach. He ain't silly smart either. And very smart. Well, he's the one that you had in there that clipped him without putting a twister on. Yes. He just stood there and let you clip. Well, no tranquilizer, no nothing. He just uh, gets it done. He's watching all that equipment going over there now. Here's a filly. Now, this is Justin's filly. And that was third day? Third day with the shoes on. She's going to be nice. She's going to be a nice filly. But like I was saying, they took the time and got that filly broke and easy and guiding straight and everything. And so all I had to do was put the shoes on, and she just kind of went on to work. Went on and let her go. Yeah. Well, I know she looks good out there. That's a, that's a fact. All right, I believe we're going to have to take another commercial break, and then we're going to show some 2023 contenders. That's what everybody wants to see. Anyway. Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> It's celebration time and Allie Jo Jacobs is geared up and ready to ride starting by showing her riding skills on Ain't He Grand in class 78, E11 and under equitation class. Then she will cowgirl up and show first night out in class 86, the youth country pleasure. Followed by switchblade in class 94, the 6 to 14 year old youth pony division. Allie Joe is ready to ride and ask for your support as she goes for top honors during the 85th celebration. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. It's horse show time in Tennessee, and the two-year-old contenders are lining up to campaign for top honors during the 85th Walking Horse Celebration. Sadie Parsons asked you to support Straight Republican as your next two-year-old world and world grand champion amateur two-year-old walking horse. Remember, Straight Republican for a clean sweep in the amateur two-year-old division during the 2023 National Walking Horse Celebration. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. I'm about ready to take that three months free off. <laughs> it's wearing me out. It's I want to remind everybody that every morning at 7 o'clock, we will be right here on channel 193 live. We will also be live streaming 100%.
we will replay here on 193 at 9 a.m., 12 noon, 4.30 p.m., 10.30 p.m., and again at 1 a.m., and again at 5 a.m. in the morning. Celebration news. Yep. Y'all can see Jerry Williams every time. <laughs> You'll be, That'll let's, work. Let's go watch some contenders. Well, I mean, we got a bunch of them this year. Oh, yeah. There's self-made money in Jack Perkle. That's Trail Pleasure Amateur. He was a winner up at the Penny Royal. Yeah. But now that's a nice horse. Right here's first night out in Alley Joe Jacobs. Country Pleasure Youth. We're doing a good that's ad a on nice her. That, that little girl. Ready. There's Georgia, Florida line and Knox Blackburn for Robert Dorch. He will probably be showing in both divisions at Celebration, I would, so. I would yes. think. And right here is Honor's Image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. I'm going to tell you, there's a bunch of good ones. Here's Jen Shatta, Baron Witherspoon. That's another good one. Better watch for him. He is. Will he be novice at Celebration? I believe he will, won't he? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Here's Slim and Hot, Robert Dorch, your amateur three-year-old stallion winner. And he's a big contender, too. We got a lot of contenders. Yeah. Twisted with honors, Allison Armstrong. They, they are undefeated in the Pro-Am, I believe. Oh, yeah. But that's going to be a hot, tough horse to beat. Right here, Agenda Win and Kendra Myers. Major contender. Yes. yes. Big time contender. Voyager, four year old stallions. Paul Simmons, better watch for him. Yes. He'll be in there. Real good. Right here. He does a good job. Here's Mayor Bill, Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. Park performance. Tell you what, now, that's a good oh, one. Oh, that's a good one. Hey. He showed the state class a lot of times. Right here, it's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. Everybody better keep their eye on this young man. He can flat ride a yes, horse. Yes, he can. He can ride a horse. Gets it done. Here's Black Gen Scout, Megan Hammond. That horse says it all right there. All she did was reload. Yep. El Hombre in black, Jimmy McConnell. We'll probably see him in amateur in Oak, oh, don't you yes. think? Uh -huh. Equitation. I guarantee you this young lady will be stroking it in equitation this year. Yeah. She does a wonderful job on that ride now. She's I don't see how some of them girls remember them patterns. Yeah. <laughs> they, they would drive me up a wall. Koufax. That's another good one. Hey, that's a bad cat right there. Blaze does a super good job with that horse. Top contender in the four-year-old. Mr. True Blue. That's a top contender right there. You better believe it. He's the current four-year-old world grand champion. Yep. He'll be going for the big one this year. Gets it done. RM does a good job RM with him. RM does a real good job. Him and Spencer does good. Right here, me and Pocahontas. Grant you, we'll see them in pro-am probably. Yeah. Open and amateur competition. There's Jen Shadow again. Baron does a good job. You know, he Baron does. has produced a book. Is that right? It's out there. He's going to have a book signed over at the Celebration Grounds. All right. Here's the ultimate honor in Jack Harney. He's going to be on the show Saturday morning. That's a nice horse right there. Yeah, it is. Good little boy, too, yeah. now. They said we're going to have to get him to talk to us. Here's Black Gen Scout again now. 
we're going to see some of these several times because oh, they've yeah. been consistent winners all year long. And Megan, she don't ride no bad ones. No. Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watt. I love that horse right there now. That is a good one. Real good. Carol man. Baxter will probably show her too. Super Bowl MVP in BB Beasley. I guarantee you they'll be there. Here's Bob Adcock in a kingpin. Yep. Load of shavings or a bell of hay or sack yeah. of feed or something. <laughs> That was the old king Yeah, that was, other, that was a king thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'd take a bag of feed for no. this <laughs> Mayor Bill again. I tell you what, Dan Dan told me, he said, for a while, he said, that horse fed me. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good one. And here's the medalist again with Eli Cunningham. He's a good young man, I can tell you. He, he, super. And there's a mighty gin and Sam Martin for Mike Floyd. I tell you what, that three-year-old oh, yeah. the three division is going to be tough now. The big division. The way I am in Tina Moss for Shane Porterfield. Shane's got a good lineup oh, yeah. of horses. Now he does. Here's Dorel and Jeremy Jensen. That's another real good horse. Oh, yeah. We'll have to cheer for him, you reckon? Yes, I think I'm, I might cheer for him. So All right. yeah. I would. Yeah. The good owner, everything. Here's Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. Tell you what, these, these youth classes, Oh, yeah, Jerry, gonna be, gonna man, they're going to be, I'm gonna shoot. They're going to be tough now. Real tough. I'm big enough, youth ponies. That pony class gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough class. There's Maxine. She, she can flat ride a horse. Oh, yeah. Here's Earl Smith and Courtney Luttrell. We'll see her. That's yeah. two year old that's division. Old. That's, a, that's a real nice horse right there. Yes. There's Allie Joe, the equitation. That's one thing I admire about her. She wants it all. Yeah. I mean, she wants to do it all. She don't care. Slim and hot, Robert Dorch. That's another good 3 0. Yeah. It's going to be, I'm going to tell you, there is no cakewalk division oh, at no. Celebration this year. There's Georgia, Florida line. And I, I'm pretty sure that we'll see Robert and Knox show yeah. him. Walking Mr. Charlie. Yeah. I think they sold that horse now. Did they sell him? Yeah, I believe so. I'll have to find out. There's a lemon under Coco Chanel. Yep, it's another good one. Juvenile horse. Well, I know Mr. Charlie's in there with a bunch of good ones in the Division B. Mm hmm But you think he sold, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm Tom Thumb and Jimmy Bumgardner for Laurie Quinn. Show pleasure, Show Ryder pleasure. Cup winner. That'd be another good class right there. Yeah. Show pleasure class would be B class. I tell you what, that show pleasure and then you five and under show yeah. pleasure. Those gonna be some good classes. Yeah. Here's Charlie in the sky and Dick Peoples for Doug Quires, two year old Marion Gildon Ryder Cup winner. There's gonna be some good horses. I'm yeah. glad to see Dick back in there. There's Alley Joe, first night out. People to see these horses that win multiple times oh, during yeah. the year, that means they're showing. Showing, that's right. They, exactly they ain't right. taking a break. There's a champ in Eli Cunningham. 
That pony class, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna miss it, cause it's gonna get be right from start yep, to finish. finish yep. I'm telling you, all them classes gonna have a bunch of good horses in it. It's gonna be hard to from the pleasure to skip horse, through one from the pleasure horse division on up to the performance and everything else. I yeah, it's gonna be some good ones. A red alert. I knew the first time I saw this one that he's gonna be tough, yeah. and now Kim's riding him. And, yeah. and buddy, she can flat ride him. There's got your back. That's well, another good horse yeah. right there. He's in that show pleasure division. Yeah. I'm anxious to see what all's in that five and under. There's I am show pleasure division. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad they got it five and under show pleasure yeah. and then your older show, show pleasure. It makes it a whole lot better. Georgia High Honor and Knox Blackburn. This is a four-year-old stallion. They got a problem though. Oh yeah, they got two. <laughs> they got they, they got a big problem. Yeah. <laughs> She's never been kissed in Kimberly Walden. I'm promoting the horse and Kimberly because yeah. Kimberly's just number one in my book when it comes to kids. There's Silver Lining and Piper Antigue. Better watch, Rachel's oh, yeah. the handler. They're top contenders. And here's a top contender. Yeah. Show pleasure use. Mm -hmm. To Jano and David Daniel Smith. Daniel is just a good, good jockey. Yeah. Here's prime time player. And Knox Blackburn for Kimberly and Barry Walden, your three-year-old stallion. I'll tell you. Here's Cerveza, Jerry Beatty, four-year-old. Yeah. I'm going to tell you now, it, it's not going to be easy. No. Jimmer's country girl. I know she's going to be in there on that horse. Oh, yeah. Carol's a good jockey. Yes, yeah, she is a good jockey. Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford for William. Continuous winner. Yeah. And she shows English and Western. Uh huh. Mr. Heisman, Bruce McDonald. That's a classic horse. Oh, I yeah. hope we see him again. Because he, he is a piece of work, buddy. Right there's the Dixie label and Chloe McSwain. 12 to 17. That's another nice horse. Well, they, they, I'm you, that juvenile class, both <laughs> divisions gonna be up top. Yeah. The black listener is Summer Brooks. <laughs> hey, that's a piece of work right yeah. there now. She can get it done. There's Black Gen Scout, Megan Hammond. Form a line in Carol Baxter. Yeah. I hate that she lost her stud, Jimmer, yeah. but I tell you what, he's got some good offsprings. I'm Charlie Black and Dahlia Smith Hart will not be there. No, <laughs> nope. she won't be there. She will not. The horse might. I doubt that because I don't think they've sold that horse. But Dahlia, we're thinking of you, darling. <laughs> Here's Cole Hahn. You can tell we put all these together before they named the judges. Oh, yes. Here, she's limitless. I know that mare's got to be there. She is just, that's, well, that's, what, that's what can you say? She's limitless. Yeah. Right there's Annie's line with Cash and Chloe McSwain. Youth show pleasure. Kendra Myers, a gin to win. She's going to be the first Saturday night. I think yeah. class 106. The ultimate honor in Jack Harney for Justin Harney.
I'm Coach Cal. I tell you what, the last time she came yeah. out on him, she had him working on yeah. all cylinders. Show pleasure nice time, gonna be nice. hard to beat. There's a mighty gin. Another one of Mike Floyd's horses there. Three-o stallion. Yeah. That's another good three-o. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tell you, three, four, all of them. Honored in Texas, Bob Adcock. And five-year-old stallions, oh, yeah. four-year-old, three-year-old, two-year-old, three amateur and open. Georgia, Florida line. You got several blues this year. I'm glad that they separated them though. Oh yeah. Five and under and then over. Harley Quinn, Beth Collins. I tell you what, that's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Beth does a good job. Right there, Twisted with Honors and Allison Armstrong. That's a tough horse right there. Oh yeah, it is. Mr. True Blue. Another real good horse. I like it when I look up and I see the same horse more than once. Yeah. I love to see him show. And here's Dim the Lights and Sadie Parsons. Five-year-old Marion Gildon winner. And she's going to be tough. That Dim the Lights, good horse. Dorel. He was a winner in the Pro-Am. Oh, yeah. But now he, he'll be in a competition, too. Nice horse. Virginia's got a good lineup of horses. Virginia got a real good, a bunch of good horses. Walk the line, Clay Sanderson, owner Justin Harney, three-year-old stallion, Ryder Cup winner. I like that name, Walk the Line. It was a movie, Walk the Walk Line. line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jose's Ritzy Hawk and Emma Black. That's youth another good yep. youth class right there. That's tickle for Emma. She did a good job. Right here, the queen. I'm gonna tell you. That's at lead line, at lead be line class is gonna be tough. It's, it's gonna, gonna, be, be, it's tough. gonna be tough. Got a bunch of good ponies in there this year. Oh yeah. Gonna be that's a, a very good team right there. Hanging head. Right there is gonna be a tough one. Yeah, that's my man right there. Yeah. Now. I'm going with the hawk. Yeah. <laughs> I knew we'd have Robert in oh, here. Oh, yeah. Cole Hahn again. Yeah. To me, that's why I like to do these contenders. Yeah. To Jano again. When you see the horse multiple times, you know that they're showing. It's showing, that's right. And they're showing a lot. That's the marks of, to, to me of true winners, buddy. Uh -huh. Right there, the champ, and Eli Cunningham. Zorro Jr. Buddy, this shocked everybody, didn't it? Oh, yeah. It? <laughs> that horse shows a lot in the open competition. She said, give me a whirl. Now, she's showing with adults there. Here's Jose, it ain't so, and R.M. Kelly. That's another real nice horse. Yeah, but I don't believe he's in the lineup this year, is he? Yes, I think he's, he's in the... He's in one of the splits. In one of the splits. That's good. Yeah. Sure is, he's in the B. Yeah. First night out. It'd be heck Jake had to show against himself, <laughs> wouldn't he? <laughs> 
dark rain. Hey, 15 to two and under, our pony. Yeah. So he can go either way. Wouldn't surprise me to see him both, both, both directions. Yeah. Everett does a good job with him. Yeah. Right there's old Troubadour. Now he will be specialty this year, but now yeah. he is one I bad you the walking cat. Now. Walking, shaking, getting it done. Yeah. Show me the door. There's Coach Cal and Allie Joe. Her dad told me that she showed one night and told him, said, you know, said, I think I need to go to the barn and work on this. this? <laughs> now, this is after she showed. Mm -hmm. Manny, Molly Walters, and Taylor. Now, this was amateur, amateur specialty. But I'm here to tell you, you're liable to see that horse in any one of them classes. Oh, yeah. With Molly or Taylor. Oh, that, that's a good horse right there. It is a celebration world champion contender, big time. Twisted with honors, Allison Armstrong. She's a horse person. Spotlight on Jose. Two-year-old stay. That's a real nice horse. Cool yes, right that's a, that was his first night yeah. out. Bob's got some good horses. Now, he, he's got a good eye, and he goes and picks some good ones. Right here's the queen and Laney Leverett yeah. from Mandy Leverett. She just... I'm gonna tell you what, that's gonna be some tough, that's a good competition, tough competition right buddy. That pony there is real, real nice. Mm -hmm. Dorel, here's another Pro-Am class. Yep. I'm so proud of Jeremy. And no, yeah, they do a good, he's done a good job. job. Skip the line in Kimberly Walden. All day pleasure, two and three year old. But again, I'm gonna say it again, I'm promoting her and the horse oh, yeah. coach. Kimberly is, is good for the end. Oh yeah, she is very good. The way good for she him. shares her horses yeah. with the youth, I, I think that's just uh she does a good super. job. And here she is. This is the lady. Yeah. Both of them. Uh-huh. Molly's on she's limitless, and we will see them come celebration. So she is a top contender. Yeah. Boy, that's a pretty horse. Oh, yeah. And here's a mighty Jen, three-year-old, Mike Floyd. Mike told me, he said, you eat me up on these ads. I said, if you got third or fourth, I wouldn't call you. you. <laughs> I tell you what, these, these a good one. Yeah. He's a lucky strike, and Avery Derrickson. They said this young lady was tore all to pieces, but now she's got a good horse. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think she showed down here that much because that was the first time I saw her. Yeah. But now that horse can walk. Look, I like the name, too. Oh, that's a nice horse. Lucky goes with mm -hmm. it. Well, you do your bill, and then we'll move on. We'll show some more contenders. Yep. We'll be right back after these messages. Sadie Fella Parsons is ready to shine when she presents Dim, Dim Lights. Lights in the Novice Division, then turns the reins over to Kayla Balkum to compete in the Young Trainers class. Remember to stand in support and cheer on Dim Lights during the 85th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Dim Lights! Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. 
I did it when Felicia left. No, figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. You can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. National celebration, the reigning four-year-old world grand champion, Mr. True Blue, and trainer R.M. Kellett had their eyes set on top honors in the Walking Horse Industry 2023 World Grand Championship. The Jacobs family asks for and appreciates your support as this team walks for top honors. More of What a Horse coming up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to go watch some contenders. Hey, we, there we go. Open it up with Allie Joe. Yeah. I tell you what, that young lady's been. been She's been doing real good now. She has. Real good. My honey, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love this, I love this horse now. My honeybee, the great name. Now she can flat get him. Yeah. There's going to be some great classes this year. There's Cole Hahn, Lebanon Under. Things going to get right, Jerry. We start at 9 o'clock this morning. We're going to start having some horse shows. Right there, Cavender. That's a nice oh, horse now. Real look good. out. That's one of Bruce's problems. He's got two great four-year-olds. Yeah. But I'm going to have to pick that one yeah. as the number one man because he ain't nothing but fine. The longer that horse goes, the better he gets. I know it. Black Gen Scout. Yeah. They can say, I don't need the roses. Walk right out of them. And she, since she's bought that horse, she shows him. Yeah. She doesn't sit on him. She gets him out there. And if you notice, most of these, when you see them two or three times, a gen to win, Kendra Meyer. Yeah. They show at the big shows. And big, yeah, that's right. They go when the competition comes. Right there is Warbird. I love it. I've always yeah. liked that horse. Always. It's just something about that him that just. A real good horse. He's been a good horse for a long time. Yes, yeah, it has. That lady, Ginger, she's a good woman, too. Oh, yeah. There's Mr. True Blue again. Yeah. He didn't set on his World Grand Championship. He got out and went yeah. to work. You gotta admire that. The heart of Dixie, Casey Todd, amateur three-year-old. 
You know, he does a good oh, job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he does. Ultra Gray Pistol and L.C. Lewis for Kilburn and Lewis. This is a nice horse. Real nice. She'll be in there battling them. Yep. Quite an honor, Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. You're 17 and under. This is a good mare, a yep. good mare. But they're the Paddock Master and Dahlia Smith. I guarantee you they will not be there. Yeah. If they'd have told us soon enough, we wouldn't put them. <laughs> no, I would have. They need to know that they're giving up a lot. That's right. Now they are. <laughs> they they are giving up a whole lot. I am Mighty Jose and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Zorro Jr. again. Tough. Honor oh, and remember, hey, I'm going to tell you, that's they class. he's going to be tough. class now. He's going to be real good class. Honor and remember can flat walk. Team Six Boots, I still have not found out what Amy was doing when she named this horse, but I like that name. And that would be her celebration ride, I'm sure. Right there, Boone's Gin. He was a state class winner. Yeah. But now I did not see his name. Tijano. Hey. It wouldn't surprise to see that horse winning. They're in, he's in one division. Yeah. They got two different divisions in that for the youth. There's Dark Rain. And you know the, the biggest thing about all these horses that you are showing right here, Jerry, mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't realize, that the U.S. government was there. They all, pretty right. much all them shows. All of them. And shows, so I just hope they just don't change their mind before because it's a celebration. There's Jive SS and Sam Sara. Yeah, that's a good horse. There's a three-year-old. Honor and remember, the damn Waddell again. I'm gonna tell you, this horse gonna be hard to beat. Yeah. But we've got a lot of good stake horses. Yeah. Whichever one of them's the best that night, but Lord, we got some good ones. And here's the medalist again. That young man just gets down and gets it, doesn't he? Yeah. But you're right. A King Thane and Bob Adcock. That's a bag of shavings right there. Yeah, a big bag. <laughs> Jen's Black Scout. Said that one backwards. <laughs> Black Jen Scout. And Dan Waddell in Red Alert. I'll tell you what, he just made that horse oh, yeah. better and better and better. Here's me and Pocahontas and Allison Balcom. Thought I was going to say Allison Armstrong, <laughs> didn't you? I remember. That's one thing about her, she loans them out too. Yeah. Honored in Texas, Bob Adcock, five-year-old. But you're right now, these horses that we're showing, the government was at these shows. Show, that's what I'm saying. That's Twisted the... with honors, Allison Armstrong. So we're gonna see how they turn around and judge during the celebration. Yeah. Grayton Beach, boy, this was a shocker oh, when yeah. she come out. But she got it done. Allie Joe. She rides a horse good, real good. I like that horse too. Drop a line. Yeah. That's Charles Glegren's horse. That's his, his granddaughter does a good job. Yeah. Walk for roses. This one's going to be a show dog, I can guarantee you. Oh, that's a good horse. Yes, real good. 
in these honors. There's Ronnie Spears. I bet you he ain't gonna be showing. Uh, I bet you we see him every night. Uh, yeah. He will be toting the flag, but not on that horse. And there it is, red alert. And Cam Lewis, we'll see her in that amateur division, I'm sure. A nice horse right there. Kim does a good job showing it. And here she's never been kissed in Kimberly Walden. All day pleasure winner. Straight Republican and Sadie Parsons. Amateur two year old nice day. Horse. Yes, it Sadie is. does a real good job on them horses now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, this is going to be yeah. exciting. There's Joe Paul. Tanner's got him looking good. Yeah. This I'm on it. Celebration gonna be tough. Minor ordeal. Who would have thought? Yeah. But he's there. Knox has got him going. Looking good right there. Yeah. Tell you what. Jalapeno. And Joe Lester, we will see him. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we will see him. And right there's Beach Bum Bruce and yep. Bob Roach. Bob will be there. Oh, yeah. He ain't going to miss no celebration. And there's Koufax, Blaze Picard. If it rains, which it always does during celebration, that horse right there doesn't prove it don't stop him yeah. a bit. He can walk on through it. You got it. I'm gonna tell you, celebration gonna be tough. Oh, it's gonna be tough. He gonna, you got I, was, of I was looking to see how much time we had, but we got a minute. So all I can do is tell everybody that we're going to be live every morning at 7 o'clock, live streaming everything. Replay at 9 a.m., 12 noon, 4.30 p.m., 10.30 p.m., 1 a.m. in the morning, and 5, and then we'll be right back here at 7. That'll work. You're, you're going to have be a president. biscuit and coffee. You're going to be president at every... Yes, sir. I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see everybody again in the morning, bright and early at 7 o'clock. You're going to be here? Yes, sir. I'm sure going to have you a biscuit just okay. to see. <laughs> I better not have to give that biscuit <laughs> to the cat, too. We'll see everybody tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'll be saving and enjoy the horse show. Good luck to everyone. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.